Is Obama endangering our blood supply? 2014 Opinion Update May 11, 2023 FDA Risk-Based Questionnaire Send the FDA Your Opinion Update Homosexual Male Blood Restrictions Worldwide Update April 2, 2020 Gay Men and Others Can Give Blood After 90 Days Update 2015 Gay Men Can Give Blood If They Do Not Have Sex For 12 Months Why Is The Obama Federal Drug Administration FDA, Considering Lifting The Ban based on a panel's recommendation on gay men giving blood. Is there a gay conspiracy to increase the odds of heterosexuals getting AIDS and thereby make the government increase funding for more research to cure AIDS? That may sound like absurd reasoning, but there has been news reports of people in the gay community deliberately getting AIDS. Bug chasers are strange gay people who deliberately get AIDS, and in fact some label themselves as gift givers, who knowingly advertise to spread AIDS. Are they the types of people President Obama and the U.S. government expect to abstain from sex for a year in order to give blood? Why should the American public accept these changes and endanger the blood supply in the U.S.? It appears the gay rights movement has once again may have been the instigator in this issue. From reading about gay sex stories in the news over the years that make sodomy seem tame, does the FDA really think gay men are going to abstain from man-to-man -man sex for a year? It seems to be this issue will be like gay marriage for the Obama administration. The Obama White House message will be at first ambivalent, and then evolving, to outright ignoring and not defending the Defense of Marriage Act. Should the American people let Obama and his liberal, politically appointed bureaucrats endanger public health and safety through rule changes and beneficial rulings by federal judges appointed by Obama? Even those judges not appointed by Obama may sometimes feel political winds blowing against them and side with the administration. A major concern most people should be aware of is that governments, acting according to political belief or to promote the economics of special interest groups, may actually cause disease. A perfect example would be the outbreak of mad cow disease in Europe. It may sound unrelated, but people looking to change blood donation rules in the U.S. cite Europe, Japan and Australia in their less strict donation requirements. If European standards are better than U.S. standards, how did the mad cow disease situations even appear? By using European standards as some sort of baseline for comparison, is Obama's FDA setting the U.S. up for an AIDS-related blood disease pandemic? Would his administration even let such an issue be reported by the media? Given his past management style of unilateral action, I somehow doubt he would care if a small number of people contracted AIDS through blood transfusion if it meant advancing gay rights for his gay political supporters.